Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and today we're talking about the aircraft band. Now uh, one of the things that you can listen to in the spectrum of 108 to 136 megahertz is aircraft. Now you don't need to be near an airport to hear that much because there's aircraft all over the area I could be sure that unless you're really in a very remote area, most people will still hear a little bit of communications on that band. But of course, if you live in a big city, like here in Montreal, we have a big airport. Uh, you know, I even have basically view of the planes that are coming in from the east uh, on, you know, just going on my balcony. So I'm kind of really well placed for that. But if you're in a big city, you got an airport and you've got lots of communications here and it could be interesting you know there's a lot of things happening you can have uh, you know air, air, air traffic control but if you can actually go close to the airport it's even more fun because you can actually uh, check out you know departures and arrivals and see what's happening on the air band so 108 to 136 is the band where aircraft communicate locally with airports all that is done in AM mode and a lot of people ask me why do uh, airplanes communicate in AM instead of FM and one of the reasons is that AM actually will um, propagate better and be heard better at long distance and low signal than an FM signal and that's why a lot of uh, planes are actually in AM mode because it is better and easier to understand when you know it's the signal is not very very strong even in interference wise it is often better on AM mode now if you're looking for frequencies what do you do so first of all of course there's a lot of frequency info there's a lot of stuff you can uh, you know there's a band plan basically on that frequency range but what I would do, you know, and what I generally do is go into Google and write the city. So, for example, here I would write Montreal um, Airport Frequencies. And then you'll go into something. So here I've got Radio Reference, which shows me the uh, airport frequencies here for departures, arrivals, and so on. Uh, so, you know, if you just type the city name and um, you know frequencies very often you'll have a lot of information now let's say okay I don't know well you know what scan the frequency range use your scanner start scanning make a, a range of scan from 108 to 136 that will help if you can put a range of 108 to 136 uh, some you know radio scanners have scan edges or uh, limits that you can scan from one band to the other and you know what you'll be surprised at what you can hear you'll uh, slowly also by listening um, get more knowledge you know and see what you can hear what it is exactly is it arrival departures uh, and all, all the details that you can get from different uh, airplanes and you know what it's very surprising um, a lot of people say well I live far from the airport well, if you live, you know, relatively far from an airport, one of the things that's surprising is when the planes are high in the air, you can hear them for over a hundred miles easily. What you won't hear is the tower or the airport itself, but you will hear the planes. So it's worth it to scan even if you live in a faraway place from an airport, because you never know what you can hear on this aircraft band and there are of course a lot of communications of small aircrafts uh, you know little planes that go through or uh, helicopters and stuff like that so 108 to 136 megahertz is a nice place to scan on your scanner on your portable VHF receiver and um, even if you don't live in it you know in a city you'll be surprised what you can hear. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. You got questions? You got something about scanner radios you'd like me to make a video about? Let me know and we'll try to, of course, make that video if possible.